Baltimore has a new mayor this morning. Brandon Scott declares victory after independent Bob Wallace called him to concede. WJZ has live team coverage on the election. Annie Rose Ramos with the winner of the seventh district race. But we begin with Amy Kawada and how Scott addressed his supporters last night. Amy. Good morning, Lynn. Well, we know there's a lot of uncertainty in this election, but it was always certain Baltimore would have a new leader, and Brandon Scott will now be the city's 52nd mayor. Brandon Scott took over as city council president just one year ago and declared victory Tuesday night after getting a concession call from his main opponent, independent Bob Wallace. Scott grew up in Park Heights and wanted to change what he saw around him. Now he has that opportunity. Some did not believe you could run a campaign against the status quo in Baltimore City and win. But Baltimore, you voted for change. You have spoken loud and clear to end business as usual in City Hall. My commitment to you, Baltimore, is that I will always be honest about our challenges and will always work hard to set our city on a better path. This year alone, we've lost 278 people to violence and far too many to overdose in Baltimore. My eyes are open about the city I'm prepared to lead. Scott also talked about the persistent violence and the more than 270 people murdered in Baltimore this year. He says it takes someone who has lived here their entire life, who knows those problems inside and out, to fix them. And Scott will be sworn in next month on December 8th. The new city council will be sworn in on December 10th. Live at City Hall this morning, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.